Hey crafties, welcome back to another episode of Corporeal Crafts, the only channel where we make body-centric DIYs. I'm Madeline. And I'm Hannah. And today we have a fabulous craft for you that I'm sure you've never seen before. But first, let's hear a message from our sponsors. Today's sponsor is The Diva Cup. If you're anything like me, you know the worst part about periods is the bleeding. It's hard to get anything done when Old Faithful fires and its monthly geyser at Red Springs National Park. But period having people rejoice. The Diva Cup is redefining menstruation, so your period is a breeze. And to show you how great the Diva Cup is, we're going to be using it in our corporeal craft today. So, enough sitting around, let's get to the craft you're all waiting for. Period blood tie-dye. Let's, let's get crafty! Here's what you need to get started. A white t-shirt, a pack of rubber bands, a pair or two of gloves, and of course, you'll need anywhere from one to three ounces of period blood, collected in our trusty Diva Cups over the course of two periods. The first thing you're going to want to do is find somewhere you can get a little messy. Next, you're going to want to take your period blood and water it down for an even consistency. After that, pick a starting spot on your shirt. And then, use rubber bands to create a pattern. Hmm. Hey Hannah, do you know what time it is? Is it time for a menstrual misnomer? It sure is. Did you know that period blood is actually a mixture of blood, natural vaginal bacteria, and the thickened endometrial cells that slough off when a person isn't pregnant? How endometrial! <laughs> Delightful! Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish rubber banding these shirts and we'll get back to you for the next step. All right, and there we have them. All right, crafties, the next step is to take your blood and apply it liberally to the shirts. There are a couple ways you can do this, but we decided gloves for safety and uh, maybe a tampon for application. A tampon for fun. A tampon for fun. But if you don't want to use a tampon or you don't have any lying around at home, you could always use any sort of brush or any other uh, absorbing. Hey, uh, Madeline. Yeah? Do you know what time it is? Mm, if I had to guess, I'd say it's time for another menstrual misnomer. <laughs> However, did you know? Just a guess. Speaking of other things you might not know, did you know that in medieval times, there were so many uses for period blood? Including doctors using them to get rid of the plague and demonic possessions? What? So we're not the first ones, and we won't be the last ones using menstrual blood in extraordinary ways. All right, we've finished dyeing. We'll see you in a few hours after we let these babies dry. And that's a wrap for our period tie-dye t-shirts. If you want to spice up your wardrobe even more, you can add a cute little menstruation saying, just like we did. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to Corporeal Crafts for more body-centric DIYs. And make sure to ring that little bell icon for post notification every time we post so you can join the Corporeal Craft family. Well, that's it for us. Stay, Stay crafty. crafty.